When you think of vampires, what's the first thing that comes to mind? Dracula? Anne Rice? The characters from Twilight? Maybe even Count Bone Count from Sesame Street? So often these nocturnal blood-sucking ghouls are shapeshifters, commonly taking the form of a bat. However, vampires have also been linked to another animal, one you may have in your home right now, curled up on your very lap. The thing is, throughout history, cats have also been cast as the main character in many vampire tales and legends. Maybe that's part of the reason people thought they were the devil incarnate? But why are our furry feline friends associated with bloodthirsty immortal beings? Well, there's a lot, and it's all very, very cool. But to start things off on a positive note, <laughs> Egyptian lore revered cats and portrayed them as guardians of the underworld. They would often bury their dead with them in some form. The tie-in with potential godlike immortality, death, and the underworld might explain how cats became entwined with vampirism to some, flashing forward to an English belief that cats steal the breath from newborns. This belief was further perpetuated after a cat was actually accused and ultimately convicted of infanticide in 1791. While this baby's death most likely happened as a result of the cat seeking milk from the child's mouth, it only adds to the mythology linking cats to vampires and death. There are some pretty interesting legends that give cats the power to turn a corpse into a vampire. But how is such a feat accomplished? Well, these vampire-inducing cats appear back in Greek folktales where it's said that they have the ability to turn corpses into vampires by leaping over unburied bodies and by crossing fresh graves. Interestingly enough, this carried through even into the Victorian era where fires were not to be lit when showing the departed loved one's body in the home prior to burial. The thought being, a warm hearth would attract the house cat, who could then leap over the body slash coffin and turn the dead into a vampire or steal their soul. These perceptions persisted into Scottish folklore, where, in order to keep roaming cats at bay, they placed catnip out away from the burial sites. I mean, that's one way of distracting cats. Because of these tales, fires near corpses were forbidden in order to deter such a cat from snuggling near the warmth and presumably stealing the soul of the dead. Other European folklore depicts cats as fairies that steal souls. For example, the Scottish cat she, which is a hybrid of Gaelic words for cats and fairies, supposedly roamed the highlands looking for souls to claim, as you do. Another interpretation says that the cat she was a witch who had the ability to transform from human to cat form a total of nine times, which uh, sounds super familiar. Many hypothesize that this tale forms the origin of the superstition that cats have nine lives. Meanwhile, Romanian lore proposed that when a cat, particularly a black cat, crossed paths with a pregnant woman, vampirism could result. This chance encounter would lead the unborn child to becoming a vampire. So it appears that many, many people over the centuries have believed that cats were vampire makers. But in pop culture today, it's safe to say that the vampire is assumed to transfigure into a bat when they need to get some air or travel. However, there is a bit of lore that actually centers on vampires turning into cats, and I'm here for it. This belief in the shape-shifting ability of vampires is literally the stuff of numerous legends. Most variations describe a black cat assuming the shape of a beautiful female to lure her paramour, with the intent to drink his blood. For example, Japan's vampire cat of Nambashimba depicts how a mischievous cat attacked the prince's paramour, a rare beauty, and basically took over her position. The unknowing prince was then bewitched and eventually fell gravely ill as a result. A brave samurai vowed to forego sleep and stand guard over the prince. This incredible loyalty thwarted the attempts of the mischievous cat to claim the prince's soul. Naturally, of course, her ill intentions were uncovered and she was banished to the mountains. Across England, accused witches were also blamed for turning into cat form at night to seek out infants in order to drink their blood. Cats were frequently the companions of witches, their familiars, and many assumed they drank blood from the bodies of their owners via witches' tits, which were really likely just any interesting birthmarks or scars. <laughs> but of course, the bodies of the suspected witches were examined for wounds that could corroborate the accusations. These assumptions only further solidified the idea that cats had vampiric tendencies as they needed to feed on blood to be sustained and in service to their witch. Now, as far-fetched as a lot of this all sounds, here's the thing. There are real-life connections between vampires and cats. And this connection is thanks to the work of ecologist Holly Gans. Her fieldwork focuses and follows black-footed cats in South Africa. She says, These small cats are quite fierce and have lovely fangs and bright green eyes that shine yellow in the spotlights. Like vampires, they are predators who drink blood and go underground during the day. Her observations note that this population not only drinks blood but also has a nocturnal lifestyle. They get very cranky in the sun. Two very on-point and unique characteristics that only further feed into the cat-vampire myth. 
this kind of goes beyond the obvious. Well, all cats, especially big cats like lions and tigers, etc., are carnivorous, so of course they eat flesh and blood. It doesn't mean they're vampires. Take, because these cats look like smaller common domestic cats. And they drink blood, which is rather more what the vampire cat lore seems like it's referring to. Another study, published in Applied Animal Behavior Science, examined cats in Latin America and focused on the use of cats to ward off bats from preying upon livestock. So, bats versus cats? Vampire battle extraordinaire? These predatory vampire bats were effectively, uh, dissuaded from attacking the poor livestock by the presence and menace of nearby cats. Ferocious. So, what does all this mythology tell us? Well, while cats are both loved and, in my opinion, perfect and unfairly slandered, you never know if they'll grant you a very long undeath by turning you into a vampire too. Which could be your thing, I don't know. But thank you, friends and beans, for tuning into this fantastic video about our feline familiars. If you enjoyed it, subscribe for so much more. Goodbye!